Hello, pretty girl. You woke up from your nap? Oh, well, let's get you up and change your diaper. Oh, let's see if mama can do this with one hand. You're a heavy girl. All right, let's go. Hey friends, it's Shara, and I am here with sweet Gisela, and she is ready to get changed for the night. She's such a sweet girl, you guys. I just love her so much. You say hi to all your aunties and uncles? Yeah? So I'm going to change her, but I'm also going to change sweet Sonia. So Gisela is going to get this adorable... Winnie the Pooh sleeper, and I am going to put socks on her, her a little beige pair of socks. Um, it helps the sleeper stay on better, and uh, it is a little chilly tonight, so I will put that on. And then um, sweet Sonia is going to wear this adorable chic thermal sleeper by Carter's, and look at these feet. Aren't they so cute? And then she will wear a white pair of socks. All right, and I'll bring her on when I'm done with Gisela. So how is everyone doing? Let's take off your headband, sweet girl. Oh, she has the most perfect hair. It never gets messed up. It's like perfect. I don't know how that is. Come on, let's sit up. Oh, she's so heavy. Yes, you are. You're a heavy little girl. She looks so sweet in this Janie and Jack dress that I had to keep it on her. <laughs> I kept it on her for an extra day. I really love it. Oh, there you go, pretty girl. There you go. Sorry, the lighting may not be the greatest. Um, it is after sunset, and I am doing this with indoor lighting. I gotta sit you up again. I'll push this down. There you go. <laughs> there you go, pretty girl. Let's get this off over your hips. You got some big thighs. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You got some big drumsticks there. Oh, you're pulling down your bloomers, too. Oh, Mommy left the tag on. <laughs> oh, poor baby girl. Was that bothering you? You never cried. I don't think it did. <laughs> I don't think it did. All right. We are going to change your diaper. Mama forgot to grab one. Look how cute this one is. This one's an Imagine Baby. I love these ones too. So I love the Amazing Baby. But I also really love the Imagine Baby. It's just usually what I can find on a warehouse deal or on sale. So I think I'm set. I think I have enough diapers for everybody now. So that's all good. Get a baby wipe. I don't think you're stinky, but we need to clean you off anyway. We need to clean you off anyway. There you go. All right. You ready for sleep, huh? Are you ready? I'm gonna scoot her up a bit. Come on, baby girl. We're uh, getting a little crowded on this changing table. I might have to take some things off. All right, let mama do this. Your legs are so heavy. Mama can't always do this. Look at her, look at that. You made it easy for me, huh? Cause you're like the perfect baby. Yep, you are. So I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend and a fabulous Mother's Day. I think everyone in this community is a mother. 
because we have real babies and fur babies and reborn babies and silicone babies. So we are all mothers and I hope you all enjoyed your holiday. I did, it was very nice. Kick back, nothing, nothing too big. And I like it that way. These fit really nice. Oh, Joey, baby girl, where are you going? Yeah, I really like the way these fit. Oh, let's go. Oh, oh, there. Mama's making that handwork, huh? Mama's making that handwork. She looks so cute in just a onesie. I can't wait till the weather. It's a little better and I can keep her in just a white onesie at night. <laughs> She's just so cute. So, you might see a new face. Well, you saw my, my sweet June and I still don't have a name for her. So, I really need some help there. And she is going to stay a girl, if anyone was questioning that. Where did I put your sleeper? Oh, it's right here. That's the problem, is I have so much stuff over here. Can't see what I'm doing. All right, let's put your sockies on. Um, but I had ordered a baby from eBay. And I have had very good luck with dolls from eBay. And this doll was beautiful, great price. I was able to check out the artist because this is a pre-loved baby and everything was good. Got the baby for a great price. And baby was shipped, did take an extra day. It was only coming from Arizona, but to take a little bit longer but that's you know UPS it's not the seller well I had the camera ready I was ready to do a box opening all set up I split the box open you know with the tape and I open it up and baby is all her head is exposed it's a huge box and she's just in there with a blanket twisted around her and a, you know, not a wrapped, not like a, a swaddle or anything, just kind of twisted like she rolled around in the box and it twisted around her or it came unwrapped. Um, and um, a onesie and a pair of pants, a tiny, you know, just a thin pair of leggings. So that's all that was in the box. There was no padding or bubble wrap or paper or anything. Baby's hair was pretty staticky and yucky in the back. And um, I was like, holy cow. So I got baby out and started brushing her hair. She has beautiful hair and it's beautifully rooted. She's painted beautifully. Well, she's a boy now, but she was painted beautifully and her hair was like broken off a little bit so I was getting some hair loss but she had a lot of hair and I contacted the seller. The seller was really nice and it turned out that she's moving across the country and she was going to be driving and she was she asked her mother to send the baby. Well the mother not really knowing that much about these art dolls. You know, probably wrapped her in the blanket. It looked like it was attempted to swaddle her, but no tie or anything. And uh, didn't realize that she was gonna toss and turn in those, you know, the UPS, they just throw those boxes. So the, the you know, rubbing her head up against the cardboard did damage her hair somewhat. And the seller was very nice and was willing to take her back completely. I could have sent her back, but I was so in love with this face and the and the painting. And her hair is fine. It's um, 
not coming out anymore. I conditioned it good with the mohair conditioner and um, I put it on a couple times. It sort of soaked in a lot. So I think what happened is the box just dried out that hair and, um, and uh, look at this. Look how cute she looks in these jammies. Well, I mean, she could wear a plastic bag and look adorable because she is amazingly gorgeous. But look at these jammies. Don't you look so cute, pretty girl? Yes, you do. You look so beautiful. You look so pretty, honey. I love you so much. Yes, I do. And I really thought I'd call her Jess or Jessie, but I love Jessella. Oh, my gosh. Jessenia, you are gorgeous. Yes, you are. Oh, these look so cute. I mean, anything would look cute on her, I know, but these are especially cute. These are especially cute. She is perfectly weighted. There is just something about the way she feels when you lift her up like you do a real baby, you know, a, a little bit older baby under the arms. And the way her legs dangle, it's awesome. And she moves so well. He's sticking your little foot up. Oh, mommy tickle it. Oh, I didn't do this little piggy. Is that what you're trying to tell me? She is always looking at me. You are always looking at me, aren't you, pretty girl? You are always looking at me. I don't even have to brush her hair. She has perfect hair. Perfect. I can get a clean baby wipe and wipe her, wipe her um, face off. Yeah. We'll wipe your face off. It's not too cold, right? It's not too cold, right? We can wipe your hands. We can wipe this hand. Yeah. She just had a bath um, yesterday. I don't like to bathe them every day or a day before yesterday. And uh, she doesn't need a bath. She gets her she gets her areas clean, huh? You get your bottom area clean every time you go. And we always wash your face, huh? Wipe your mouth out with your little baby toothbrush. Well, a gum brush because you don't have no tooths. <laughs> mm. Hey. How are you? All right. Well, I've got to go get her sister so that we can, um, so that we can uh, get her changed as well. So you guys can can say, "You just looking at Mama? Will you look at your aunties and your uncles and tell them you love them? Will you tell them?" So I'm gonna uh, go get um, Sonia and I'm gonna put little girl in the. Um, in the playpen for a little while to uh, kind of get some energy out and uh, and then she'll be safe in there and then I will give her her bottle and put her to bed so say good night aunties and uncles thank you for watching make sure you subscribe and like the video and leave a comment my sister June needs a name <laughs> And share the videos. Help Mama get to 2,000 subscribers. We love you. <laughs> All right. I will be right back. And I have something I want to share with you. So we'll be right back. Okay, guys. I'm back. And I have sweet Sonia here. She is wearing probably my favorite outfit ever. This is from Next. And look at how I, I love it. Um, I think that Kiki wore it before, but it has embroidered, there's a mouse and a rabbit and a hedgehog or a porcupine, one of the two. Um, over here is another mouse and some flowers. It is the most precious. It's so light and airy. It has this little liner 
And then the cutest little bloomers. This is an up to one month size and it's just so big in the bloomers. I love it. And she fits it perfectly. This is made for Sonia. This is made for this gorgeous girl, huh? So I am gonna bring one more baby on um, because you guys haven't seen her in a while either. And I want to bring her on and put her jammies on. So let's get going. Let's get her changed. Oh, she is so sweet. She's a nice baby to hold as well. You know, I truly love all my babies. Um, I have adjusted the weight in just a couple of them. Um, but uh, they are all perfect. Um, oh, I wasn't finished telling you the story about the poor baby in the box. So it was a mess. And I just fell in love with um, him. She, he, she's a him now. I really like um, baby as a him and um, it's a new Saskia and it looks so cute as you know brother and sister I don't know if they're twins I can make them whatever I want um, with my with my um, Leah with my uh, Yulia her name is Yulia and if I am going to make them twins, I'm not sure what I'm going to name him. So she has one of the diapers. I think I have like 20 of these ones that print. Uh, so she's going to get the same one, I think. I think that's the other one I saw in the drawer. This one, for some reason, always was going on a warehouse deal. And I got them for like sometimes eight dollars. All right, let's get the white. All right, let's clean you off. Nice and clean. I should have wiped your face with the clean one first and then your bottom because you don't have the stinky either. And there was no sense in wasting a baby wipe, but let me get a fresh diaper. Oh, no, it's a different one. I have so many diapers. This one is a different diaper, so that's good. You can see the three different types of diapers. I think this is all the different ones I have. This is a Grovia. This one doesn't usually go on sale at all, and it is very expensive, but I got really lucky and got three of them at really good prices a while ago. They are snap, but they don't hurt my hand like other snap ones do. They, um, they, I don't know, they stretch. They're really nice. I mean, I, I understand now why they're so expensive, but you saw how easy that was for me to pull. I didn't have to struggle. It's just different. And that snap, it's like a nice little plastic pupper. So this one may be a little more snug, but this is even my bad hand and I'm still able to do it pretty easy. I mean, they're both my bad hands. <laughs> if you think about it, they're both bad hands, but the right one is the weak one. The other one just is loss of dexterity and a lot of pain. But guess what I did? I made the appointment to go see the hand specialist. So they're either gonna order an MRI or I'm gonna go have a consultation with the surgeon. So. Just see what they say. I can't take it anymore. I mean, I wake up and it's so swollen and I don't lay on it. I don't know why when I wake up. Look at this, another. They know that they sometimes send all the trucks on every call. I'm not sure why that is, but even if it's not something that they would need the big truck for, so for some reason, all of them seem to go out and they're noisy, but. Okay, there you go. Those Grovias fit nice. So anyway, I ended up keeping baby boy and he is so cute, you guys. I'm gonna uh, make sure I post uh, some pictures on Instagram and I will also um, 
put some at the end of this video so you can see. Um, he is really cute. I really wanted a Saskia with dark hair. Um, I considered getting one with um, with painted hair as well um, because I really do like holding the Saskia and playing, you know, like really my go-to baby like my Harlow, Harlow was. Um, but uh, yeah, I need to hold off on babies right now. Um, I, I have no room. I don't need, I mean, I still have three babies that will eventually be coming in. So I am gonna have some babies for sale. I have the Dallas and I have, um, I don't know if you guys have seen her, her name is Naomi. She is a um, mixed race uh, Sarah and I am going to sell her. <coughs> she was painted by um, the only man um, reborn artist I know of in the community and I don't you know I'm sure there's more but this is the only one I know of um, it's uni reborn dad I think and she's very cute but I really had to um, you know I have my Bonnie and she's my go-to Sarah and I am getting well I'm not going to tell you what I'm getting but I love the Sarah kit I think the tag was still on this. Um, I love the Sarah kit and had planned to get several Sarahs because, well, I couldn't get a prototype and I really want the silicone, but yeah, I don't have the, I mean, I, I could finance the money to do it, but I'm not going to. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry. Um... This fits her so good. Um, I put her in a th zero to three, or Carter's calls it a three month, but Carter's goes from newborn to three months. So a newborn is probably up to maybe 10 pounds and then, or eight pounds, seven pounds, and then you have zero to three, but they call it three month. And uh, it fits her good because she's not, She's not a newborn size unless it's a large newborn. And she's still a tiny baby, so she looks cute in the bagginess. It doesn't have to be, um, it doesn't have to be tight. And I like the look. So a zero to three fits are okay. I think I am gonna roll the sleeves. These ones don't have the fold over um, mitts. Once you go past newborn, they don't have them. And, um, that's fine by me because I rarely put them and it's not winter, so. I usually only put those on the preemies, not the, not the bigger babies, so it's fine. But I am rolling them only because they're a little long. But the socks will help them stay on her feet. I used to do that with my kids and then I heard um, Katie at um, My Little World mention it. I'm pretty sure it was her. And uh, I, I was giggling because I always did that with my kids for the exact same reason, because it helps the feet stay on when they're moving their little feetsies around. You off your pillow. Say hi, aunties and uncles. I'm a sleepy girl, but I'm a happy girl. Yes, I am. I'm a happy, sleepy girl. I'm the one that always has good dreams or a lot of gas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she has a lot of gas. She might. Her daddy does. So, <laughs> did you hear him snicker? I said that just for his benefit because I asked him to uh, be quiet and I know it's killing him. <laughs> He's been very good to me this Mother's Day weekend. So, it's already Monday, but he's still here and he's doing great. Making sure I'm spoiled, so... All right, guys, I will go get the next baby, and then I'll talk to you about what I wanted to talk to you about. Hold on. Okay, guys, we're back, and look who it is. Sweet Ruthie. Oh, she is so awesome, and she has absolutely beautiful hair. 
absolutely beautiful. So I am going to dress her in something so cute. I think it looks so cute and baggy on her because she's little. Um, I love these Gerber uh, jammies. They're just little baggy, little coveralls, but I love that there's little pots of flowers and they're so cute and the colors are so good. I think they'll look great on her. So we're gonna put that on her with a pair of socks. So I did just change her diaper so I don't have to change her diaper. Let's get this off, sleepy girl. There's another one of my sleepy, sleepy girls. Yep. Oh, let's sit you up. Oh, let's sit you up and pull this down. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I think Mama had a clip on it because it was a little baggy in the back. Mama had a clip on it, huh? So I'm trying to pull it down when it was too snug. She is so dainty. Just the way that her, well, first off, her arms are just these little tiny dainty things. But the way that they're positioned, she's so awesome, this sculpt. Very, very awesome. Look, she's just, she's a priss. She's a little prissy, and she's got that amazing mouth just amazing I'll let you guys get a nice close-up of her mouth look at those pursed lips look at that gorgeous girl just a beauty yep this one's a beauty well they all have been beauties haven't they <laughs> and she's got amazing hair as well just perfect. Let's get a wipe. And I'll wipe your face first this time. There we go. Wipe your face so we don't waste a wipe. Get your nose. Yeah. There you go. Now your hands. There you go, and your feet. Babies get the stinkiest, sweatiest feet. Even if they don't have anything on, they get, <laughs> their feet get sweaty and stinky. Yep, I should have washed your sister's feet, but I didn't. Okay, we'll save that one for your bottom because I don't think you have a stinky. I don't think. So you do have two onesies on because you have the onesie that I always like to put on them, the, the uh, sleeveless onesie. I think it just helps even out their bodies and give them a nice smooth look under clothes. It's nice. It doesn't, you know, if some things are a little bit see-through, I think it's nice to have the, you know, so the diaper doesn't show. I mean, if I want the diaper to show, I'll just have the diaper and not put something over it because they are cute diapers. But with an outfit, I don't want them showing. Let's get that pretty hand out. There we go. We got it out. Yep, we did. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. I love her hair so much. So... I have an idea, guys. I tell you guys my story and my, you guys see my journey with the babies and collecting and buying and selling. And I think it would be really fun if you guys would send me, you know, a quick letter or a postcard. Just something to, uh, that I would share on camera but of course it would be anonymous you wouldn't even have to tell me your name um you know i don't i'm not trying to get invasive i just think it would be fun to read some letters on camera of other collectors and their story you know um i think it's um nice because so many people in outside of doll collecting think that we all must have lost a baby or couldn't have children or 
or empty nest syndrome, which, you know, a lot of that is me. Not so much empty nest, but missing my grandbabies. I mean, I miss my children too, but it's the grandbabies, you know, they're changing so much daily. I mean, minute by minute. And my daughter sent me a picture or a few pictures of my granddaughter the other day. And I'm like, she went from 20 months to 20 years old in a matter of, you know, a few days. And, uh, and that's how they, you know, they are. I haven't seen her in a year and three months and she went from six months to talking, you know, that's a lot different. So I think that would be just so good for us to hear other people's journeys. I could tell them, I could read them beforehand and then tell the story, um, you know, re reinterpret or re, um, relay it uh, while I'm changing a baby. I just thought that sounded really fun. And like I said, it would be anonymous unless you wanted it to be known. I definitely uh, do not want to invade anyone's privacy. Um, but I am curious, you know, of other people's uh, journeys. And um, so I really do feel comfortable with giving out my address, but you know, it's probably not the best thing. So I am going to get a P.O. box. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Um, I live right across the street from the post office. And here in downtown, we do have to sort of have a reason. Like I have a mailbox here. So they would say, you know, why do you need it? Is your mailbox unsafe? You know, whatever. And that's because we have a huge... Uh, transient population um, you know there's illegal activity that happens in a big city anyway this, this looks so cute on her oh she's so cute I think it's adorable anyway so I would really like to, to uh, do that so tell me in the comments what you think if you think it's a bad idea um, I may still get um, a post office box because I certainly would love for you guys to send me uh, letters you know if you uh, want to do that so I may still do that but I really do like the idea of you guys sharing your your collecting journey um, your reborn silicone journey oh my gosh isn't this the cutest it looks just like so comfy I like the side snap it's just all cottony and yummy and <laughs> it's all baggy. She looks like hammer time. <laughs> super cute. Super, super cute. So I made a huge boo-boo, guys. Huge. And I hadn't realized it. And <laughs> um, I only have one doll that has human hair. Uh, yeah, I only have one doll and I sprayed the mohair conditioner on a brush and put it in her hair. Uh, hello, she looks like a grease ball. I need to wash her hair now. Poor thing. It's my Freya and she has such beautiful hair and I just put that, um, anyway, so I have to wash Freya's hair, but there is Miss Ruthie, and she is ready for her nighttime bottle and then go to bed. So all the babies are now ready for bed, and she is so sweet, and I know so many of you love little sweet Ruthie. She just has such a unique face, and her, her sculpting is just so unique. You don't see this, um, you know, you just don't see this. I mean, look, she can hold my finger perfectly. Perfectly. <laughs> so you don't see this kind of um, look very often. I love her swollen eyes. That was my favorite feature because it just looks so newborn. And then that pursed mouth and that, that, nursing bubble or blister 
Babies get this if they breastfeed or bottle feed. Doesn't matter, they get it. <clears> Hi, <throat> huh, baby. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, she's so pretty. All right, well, Ruthie says bye, and thank you so much for joining us. And there are several things I want you to comment about. One is I want you to please help me name my new Saskia boy. He's got dark hair and blue eyes. And I will attach a picture of him with, um, with Yulia. I took some today. And some of him by himself and all. Um, I, I'm not going to attach pictures of these girls because they're ready for bed. And I'm not going to try to do a photo shoot for them. They're going to be too cranky. <clears throat> but I'll attach some of um, the kiddos that I took photos of earlier today. And I also need um, a name for sweet baby June. Um, she is going to stay a girl and I don't know what to name her. And then I also want you to tell me what you think about sharing your story with me. And then I can um, relay that information anonymously, of course, on the channel. And that would be kind of a fun, uh, and I could do that like once a week or something. And uh, look how cute she looks. Oh my God. I could sit here and play with Ruthie all day long. She's so fun because she doesn't cry and she doesn't complain. But she needs a bottle. Oh, baby girl. She needs a bottle and she needs to go night night so she can grow. Yep, that's when they grow is in bed. She's so beautiful. These girls are so beautiful. I, I just want to bring all of them on all the time. I do. I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> Your feet. All right, guys. So those are the, the things I need. Help with naming my new boy, Saskia, and my new girl, baby, June. And tell me what you think of my idea of sending... Um, you know, your your um, journey in this hobby with these Reborns and silicones um, to my post office box. And I can share those stories anonymously. And then also tell me how stupid I was to put oil in my, <laughs> in my doll's hair. It's real human hair and I put oil in it. Not a smart idea. She just looks awful. And I know it'll be fine. I mean, human hair can get all kinds of things in it and wash out. But uh, anyway, <laughs> you can tell me how silly I am. And I won't do that again. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming by and um, seeing these gorgeous girls get changed into their 90s. And they're so precious. And I want to say goodbye to you from Ruthie and Sonia and Jessenia. And we all love you guys. And as always, we are wishing you love and light. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.